Ms. Anderson, I was supposed to meet Holly Sutton here, and she's late. You haven't heard from her, have you? No. Hello, Sean. Hi, Bill. Holly actually agreed to meet you here? Sure, it was her idea. Hmm. It's a ceasefire, a sort of truce. I'm surprised. God, you're not going to join the mindless throng of do-gooders handing out free advice in this town, <laughs> are you, Sean? Don't worry, my friend. I am the last person in the world to give advice to anybody about anything. Good. I wish more of the locals felt like you do. Oh, well, hope your uh, truce works. It will. She wants it to. Oh. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, listen, um, Holly Sutton isn't answering her phone. She didn't leave a message there for Bill Eckert, did she? Thanks. She checked out? When? reaction upon entering your wine cellar is to bellow with rage. You might notice a certain hollowness echoing back at you. Don't be alarmed. It's just the sound of 20 million dollars worth of art taking off to places unknown. I have left a sort of consolation prize, however. I know how much you love Paloma's San Sebastian vintage. I had a couple of extra cases and thought of you. Oh, I broke one of your, well, my bottles of wine on the way out. Be careful of the glass. It might make you bleed. Polly.
to revenge. Honey, tastes bitter to me.